Welcome back. This is Kafer. I'm still here. Update for the next lecture, Seminar 2, with the Christ-Centered MBA program. I hope that you found Lecture 1 to be insightful and introspective. Uh, while Howard Stevenson, professor at Harvard Business School, doesn't profess Christ as his Lord and Savior, I hope you found, just like I did, some of the profound key life lessons that he's learned through life um, and his second chance after a near-death experience where he says that he had actually died and come back um, through the grace of um, circumstances of having EMS very close by. Um, I found that to be very impactful, and uh, I hope that you were also blessed by that in seeing how uh, I think while he's not uh, doesn't know Jesus yet, um, he has expressed that this was a measure of grace and a miracle experience uh, in his own life. Um, lecture two will be from uh, Vinod Kosla. He is a venture capitalist, and I'll call him an innovista. Uh, he is definitely an innovation expert. Uh, his goals really in life are to use his platform to ask questions, to build people around him, and hopefully have a positive benefit on society as a whole. Um, his title of his talk will be Risk, Failure, and Venture Capitalists, um, which was given at the Stanford Graduate School of Business. Uh, it's a very uh, engaging lecture uh, discussion with uh, the, Harvard, or the uh, Stanford Graduate Business School uh, audience. Some takeaways I want to talk about with the lecture one with uh, Professor Howard Stevenson at Harvard. Um, he talked about Frank Batten, the founder um, and uh, CEO of the Weather Channel, uh, and his comments about paying a quarter million dollars to get his name uh, removed from the Forbes list. I found that to be really interesting. Um, and for a person who has primarily pursued uh, success in the world, uh, the definition of accomplishment uh, oftentimes probably for him being uh, money, fame, notoriety, position, power. Uh, it's very curious that he would mention Frank Batten as one of the influential people in his life uh, and people who he admired and looked up to. And I think, uh, I wish I would have read a book on Frank Batten in my business education. Um, definitely somebody I will continue to look into. Um, and I hope that you were blessed by that. Another comment I want to take away is, is, um, from uh, Eric Sinaway, uh, Professor Stevenson's co-author, and he said, everybody's outside looks better than our inside. Just let that sit with you for a little while. Everybody's outside looks better than my inside. Who are the people around you that's outside look, put together, well-articulated, polished, professional, successful, How does their grass look greener than where you are and what you're doing? How might their inner reality not be much different than yours? And maybe just the way that things appear look better than they really are. We live in an Instagram, Facebook culture where we get to put the best pictures on our Facebook wall or Instagram posts. Remember that things aren't always as they appear and that the inner transformation is what we're shooting for with the Christ Center MBA. It's not so much about what's on the page or what's on your resume or what's on your cover letter, uh, but it's the transformation that's happening inside that affects how you conduct yourself in business, how you lead others, and how you lead your family. Those are the things that we are hoping to shoot for and our aim through the Christ Center MBA program, which will produce real tangible, immediate effects on the way that we conduct ourselves and do business. I hope you've been blessed by the Christ Center and MBA program so far. I'm excited about the future. I'm already working on lecture three right now. We'll shortly have lecture two notes on study guide out to you after the editors have finished with it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.